Hello again everyone and welcome back again for another video. Today we're going to take a look at a Lenovo IdeaPad 330 laptop. Uh, I don't know the uh, specifics on it at the moment. Uh, I'm just going to show you the live scene of what this laptop looks like. Uh, we got a uh, Windows 10 2004 uh, USB stick that we're going to stick in here. Um, here's the main screen of this computer booted up. Uh, let's go ahead and plug this uh, HDMI input into the uh, laptop here and take a look at it on the screen. Okay, so here I am on the uh, laptop screen now, and you can see I'm uninstalling Office, which is just taking forever. Um, if we go into the control panel here, and we look under programs and features to see what's on here, um, we see all kinds of crap. I don't know what's what. Uh, <laughs> most of it is probably crap. Some of it could probably get, you know. Uh, I think before I give you a fair assessment of how this computer boots uh, from a fresh boot, um, I'm going to need to clean all this up. And I think it would just be better if I uh, just uninstall everything and then just do a quick... Uh, restore of uh, her old files that are in here uh, you can see there's a couple documents in there uh, a few downloads uh, just a couple pictures I mean something I can easily back up so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna plug in my <coughs> Windows uh, let me see if there's a USB port on here no there isn't <sighs> hmm Okay, I need to unplug something here one second. What did I unplug? I unplugged the mouse. No, I want my mouse more than the keyboard. The keyboard I can use. Okay, here we go. There we go. And uh, that, let's see if that... Uh, there it is. Alright, so my Windows is in there. So uh, I'm going to cut this video here real quick and uh, we'll come to the next scene. Okay, so I'm back. Finally. Um, what you missed, I guess, is me wiping the drive, backing up her files, um, all that stuff. Uh, what I have right here is the Intel graphics driver for this. Um, I'm not connected to the internet yet. Um, I'm just finishing up the graphics driver uh, driver install. And uh, as you can see, I'm now back on the screen where I can show you the screen. <laughs> I couldn't show you the um, bio screen or any other screens like that uh, during the uh, initial uh, reboot and setup and all that crap because, you know, you need the drivers for the HDMI output to work so uh, now I'm back at a place where I can actually show you the screen because uh, the drivers are installed and click next uh, yes I want to start my computer alright we're gonna head and restart here now uh, now you're gonna see the screen go black here for a second and uh, this should actually give you an idea of what the initial um, boot time is gonna be like on this computer uh, but we're not going to call this the official boot time just yet. Um, now you can see that froze up on, on the screen there, what you're saying. What I have is a black screen. It'll, it'll go to the uh, regular screen once the drivers kick in. Um, but anyways, um, the time that you see that it's taken here to do this reboot um, is uh, will give you a good indication of the boot time on this laptop before I do any upgrades at all to it. Um, I'm going to do some more optimizations and all that stuff first, and we'll cut away after I've done all that. And uh, we'll show you the official, I guess, uh, boot time on this uh, laptop officially before it gets any upgrades. And we'll, we'll see how fast it actually is, or, or rather, how fast it should be. Um, yeah, we're almost booted here. Uh, this is kind of slow, huh? Yeah, we're going to see a nice improvement once we put that SSD in here. But, uh, yeah, there, there you have it. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this here real quick. 
So like I said, I want to be fair to that uh, laptop here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let some uh, updates happen there on that other screen uh, on the laptop there. And while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and play a little uh, Clash Royale right here. Because um, this is upgrade update's going to take a while. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and play some games here. And uh, I'll come back after the update's done and uh, hopefully I've won a few games. Okay, so I have Windows installed on this. <clears throat> I did all the Windows updates. I did all the drivers. Um, I did a disk cleanup on it, and I uh, defragged the drive. And now this PC is going to boot. Uh, how it should be optimized, and uh, how it should run uh, optimized. And let's see how, see how fast this boots stock. Now, keep in mind, we're going to put in the... Uh, new stuff here in a bit and as that's loading on the screen um, I'll show you what I got going in here um, I got the BX 500 from Crucial going in here it's still booting it's still booting and I also got 8 gigs of uh, memory from Crucial that's going in here um, so hopefully we'll see a nice improvement here in the next scene. Well, not in the next scene. Next scene, I'm going to show you the same door apart. But uh, you can see how uh, fast this is booting right now. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up the toolkit here, tear this thing apart, and uh, upgrade. See you in a minute. So here it is opened up on the inside. Um, as you can see, I've already put the new SSD drive in there and the uh, new memory. Um, you know, one of the things I don't like about lab types like this is the battery like this. If you want to change the battery out, you have to uh, open it up underneath here and then pull out those pins and what have you. Which kind of sucks. <laughs> you know, they. I really like the batteries that are, you know, you can remove them easier to change uh, when that time comes. Uh, speaking of battery, this battery right here. Huh is uh, a special type it's not too special pretty easy to find but I would have preferred a regular uh, CR uh, 2032 that you can just change and pop in there if I would have been thinking I actually would have ordered one for this uh, before I did the upgrade on this but uh, no big deal uh, but all right uh, so I gotta now uh, go through the uh, pain in the ass process of uh, reinstalling Windows again and all the drivers and blah 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 but uh, I'm gonna cut right here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that and then uh, we'll come back when uh, I have everything installed let's see how fast this thing will boot with the uh, upgrades so I did the install, I did the optimizing, I got the, all the updates done, the drivers and what have you. Uh, I even uh, put all her uh, files back in there and set her desktop back up to the way it was. Um, but anyways, this one's optimized for boot. So let's see what kind of difference it makes. And and I'm going to give you a, a sneak preview of it before I do this. Uh, in my opinion, these damn Celeron laptops, I just hate them so much. Um, if we get at least like a Core i3 going or better, uh, those make much better laptops. But uh, anyways, let's let's see what the boot is on this one. And keep in mind, this is the, uh, it's got the Crucial BX500 in here and the 8 gigs of Crucial DDR4 3200 speed actually. Um, so, but it's, it's running 2400 speed, uh, is what I, it showed, uh, in the, uh, task manager there. But, uh, as you can see, it's booting up now. It's, it's still kind of slow compared to a lot of SSDs and, uh, that you'll see booting up. Um, I'm honestly not too happy with this one, even though I know it is a quality SSD. I don't blame the SSD. <clears throat> I blame the, uh, Probably the chipset and the uh, that Celeron N4000 that's in here. Uh, that thing's a piece of crap. Let's uh, cut here and go to the screen. So here we go. Um, let me switch my keyboard over here. Um, we'll take a look here in the uh, task manager and I'll show you under performance that we've got. Of course, the uh, N4000 CPU 
8 gigs of memory and the uh, BX500 SSD drive. And you just seen that boot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, what it looks like on the screen for speed. Uh, real quick here, we'll just do a restart. Um, you're going to see the screen go black here, kind of. Well, not black. It's going to freeze up here. Uh, during the, There it is. It just froze up. Uh, on my end, it's black is what I'm seeing on the laptop. And uh, as soon as the drivers kick in, um, then you'll see the uh, black that I see. And then the uh, finally the Windows loading screen. Here it comes. There we go. So, yeah, it's still kind of slow, I think. And, and that's because of that N4000 uh, chip in there. Not really much you can do about that. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I, I think the uh, upgrade was kind of worth it, though. Uh, it definitely uh, sped some stuff up. The memory, I think, probably helped more than anything. Uh, brought a little bit of life back into this uh, cheapy PC. I don't know where it was purchased from. Um, I'm guessing one of the uh, cheaper retailers somewhere. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, that was the uh, results of an SSD and memory uh, upgrade on a Lenovo IdeaPad 330. Uh, I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Uh, I'm going to be doing a dark flash case coming up here. Uh, we'll talk about that one when, when uh, the video comes up. But uh, I'll see you all later and uh, bye.